Ever since ride hailing platform Uber was launched a common pitch note line was it's like Uber but for XYZ everything from pets to luggage to groceries to food to events to climbing stairs and more became an Uber for XYZ even seemingly becoming an overused meme but unfortunately since its inception in 2009 Uber never seemed to be profitable until now During the three month period ending June 30 Uber reported about dollar 325 million in operating income. This marks the first time Uber has achieved profitability since it went public. The company's quarterly free cash flow also hit a record high at dollar 1.1 billion. Investors initially cheered the news causing Uber shares to rally by as much as 4% in pre-market trading bringing the stock price to over dollar 50. the highest since july 2021 but the celebration may have been short lived the stock plummeted by as much as 6% after the break opened this was said to be worst day for uber stock since october 2022 additionally in its year over year revenue growth of 14% was the weakest since quarter 1 2021 Nonetheless, Uber's record profit was seen as its ability to efficiently manage its business and achieve positive results. And Uber seems to have been moving beyond hailing a cab. It seems to be aiming to be the everything of motion, providing various transportation options and food delivery services through its one-stop app. The company diversification strategy seemed to have paid off during the pandemic. with the rise of Uber Eats compensation for reduced ride bookings at the start of the covid-19 pandemic Uber trimmed its staff by 17% and in June 2023 it announced it was cutting 200 jobs in its recruitment division its self driving division Uber ATG was struggling to find footing after its vehicle led lethally injured a pedestrian Uber sold this business for about dollar 4 billion and a surge in people seeking additional income was allowed uber to lower incentives for gig workers contributing to better cost management in june 2023 uber announced it was exiting israel because it had not achieved sufficient market share it had also stopped its food delivery since in italy because it did not see it as an opportunity for sustainable growth and while uber did not have record growth the journey has not been without challenges there have been legal issues labor disputes class action lawsuits and regulatory hurdles additionally some competition in the ride sharing industry may have led to uber losing market share in certain areas in this highly competitive market sustained profitability and strategic innovations will be key to uber's success in the ever evolving world of transportation and delivery services